Yeah. Hello? Santino Corleone. Yeah. We have Tom Hagen. In about three hours, he'll be released without proposition. Don't lose that famous temper of yours, huh, Sonny? No. I'll wait. Rocco, head on over to the waterfront. So I think I know this old diner. Pull over here. Go around back. And make sure none of these bastards get out that way. Now don't come in the building. We'll be putting holes in anything that ain't Tom. All right, what's going on, people? Welcome back to the Godfather. Me and be quiet. All right, I'm I'm ro I'm rocking with you. They might hurt Tom. All right, we just I'm just gonna follow you. We try to be stealthy and shit. Stay crouched. Don't let them see you. Don't ruin a beautiful friendship, you cocksucker. I ain't got I ain't got hardly no goddamn ammo. All right, put the gun away. following you stay yep. down keep out of sight i'm working on this shit i can't wait till i can blow somebody's head off and show y'all what i've been doing on here he got his back turned strangle that guy and don't let the other guards see you oh, hold on while grabbing click and hold can i just use the garot joint all right i'm gonna run up on him and we gonna we gonna give him the dr dre real quick Come here, just breathe, brother. Breathe. No. Just let it go. It's so peaceful. Cranch. Listen, go around the back and watch for anyone trying to come out that way. We need to take out the guards. Oh, so this is actually a stealth mission? Oh, shit. Did he see me? How did he see? I know I, I know that dude ain't see me, man. He saw what? How how did he see me? I don't know where dude went either. That's crazy. Yo. I'm about to John Lou this shit. I can feel it. Come on, just, just go quietly, please. Did you, did that shit just crunch? Did you hear the crunch? All right, on my skills and upgrades, violence, did I have something that let... I'm trying to figure out how you use this. I don't think I can use it right now anyway. As soon as I get close, you want to start moving? Son of a bitch. Crash! Oh, this shit lagging because there's smoke on the screen. These old PS2. Well, this is, um, this, I think this was originally a PS2 game, but, um, they re released it on PS3. That's why it's called the Dawn's Edition or whatever. But when there's smoke on these old games, a lot of it on the screen, and a lot of like characters on the screen, that shit start lagging. Is there anybody else over here I should worry about? I don't think there is. I don't like violence, Tom. I'm a businessman. Blood is a big expense. Still alive. They hit him with five shots and he's still alive. Well, that's bad luck for me. And bad luck for you. Goodbye, Tom. Sorry it didn't work out. How did how did they they didn't see me right there though? Alright, we're just gonna walk. Am I walking under the, um... 
Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that whole almost walked right past it like a dumbass. Alright. You know what? I ain't playing with nobody. Yeah, gunfight! Hurry! There's not much time left! Bro, look, look at Look at the marksmanship though! All these one-hit kills! Everybody getting hit with that. Ooh! Ew! Pick your head out. See, the computer know how to do that blind fire bullshit. And I don't know how to do it. Man, y'all deal with that dude. I want to go in there and get him. Hey, but I can keep up. This door open over here? The only way to get in there is go past that guard. Man, the computer is butt. Finally! Took all goddamn day. Oh my goodness, all of them! Whoa! Hey yo, way to cover your boy right there. That was close. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at his accuracy. Boop! Oh, I missed! Kill him! You. <laughs> How did I miss him the first two times? Good job, kid. Luke is dead, Tom. Jesus. It's worse than I thought. How's it done? It's bad. Let's get out of here. Take me to the compound. I'll show you the way. Give me a hand! Almost fucked up! At the end right there? That could've been bad. Ride with me back to the compound. Take the Manhattan Bridge. It'll be faster. No problem, Mr. Clemenza. Well, I need to be able to locate this Manhattan Bridge that you're talking about. I don't know my way around this map. I got a feeling I need to turn around here and go back this way. Because we're going the wrong way. Matter of fact, let's see where it is on the map. Alright, it ain't too far. You did a hell of a fine job out. Family owes you. Got a bright future with us, son. Bright future? Tom, the kid's a fucking natural, just like his old man. We should see how he does on the streets, you know? We could bring you into the family, see how you get on. You'll start out as an associate, nothing more. That means you'll be working for me, kid. But if you want to be an associate, you'll have to earn it first. You mean bring in some money for the family? Bingo. So, Tom, what'd you learn about Salazzo? Salazzo was known as a Turk. He's supposed to be very good with a knife, but only in matters of business or some sort of reasonable complaint. Now, his business is narcotics. He has fields in Turkey where they grow the poppy, and in Sicily he has the plans to process them to heroin. Now, he needs cash, and he needs protection from the police, for which he gives a piece of the action. I couldn't find out how much. The Tatalia family is behind him here in New York. You have to be in it for something. Whatever it is, it can't be good for the Corleones. Now, the question is... Are these... Oh, shit. These are the people I can hire. Get some help on the job. You win? Hell no! $2,500! I ain't got that much to spare. Are you crazy? Let's go over here and talk, talk to the dude Tom. They trying to get over on me. I'm going to miss Luca Brazzi. I want to be just like him. I remember one time he killed one of our own guys just for giving the Corleones a bad name. You're not going to give the Corleones a bad name, are you? I will slap the shit out you, sir. Um, oh, I gotta go. I'm like, yo, I'm like, where are we supposed to go? We gotta go inside the house. Tom's free and not a scratch on him. I wonder what Salazzo's thinking. He's already shown his hand. I don't know. Nobody can. Let me speak plainly. The Corleone family has need of men like you. Because as we speak, our enemies encircle us, waiting to prey on any sign of weakness. What can I do for the family? We would like to offer you a role 
There's an unofficial enforcer for the family. See that we maintain control on the streets, help us to regain our true balance. In time, you will become a trusted associate to our family, and then, God willing, you will become one of our made men. It's payday, and I have earned $725. I gotta pay the Corleone 70% of my money? Golly, bro. Becoming an enforcer is only the first rank in the Corleone family. Complete missions and earn respect to rise through the ranks and become the dawn. All right, we got some upgrades. You know what I might need to do? What's that shit about? Hey, Clemenza's are looking for you. Over at the Falconite. All right, well, let's go over to the Falconite then. I'll see y'all over there. Mr. Tessio, it's an honor to meet you. How you doing, kid? Got a job for you. You're interested? Yeah. Anything for the family. We got a problem with a Tatalia wise guy, Mikey Soleri. He hangs around that butcher shop you earned for us. Take him out. When you receive a contract hit, a hit list will appear in the objectives menu. Your hit list displays important information about your target. It will remind you of any possible bonus conditions. Killing your target according to the bonus condition will earn you more money and respect. All right, hand to hand combat. All right, see that's that's perfect because that's a side quest over there. We can do that shit later. Matter of fact, we got plenty more. So anybody we see with this little icon over their head, we should talk to. My respects, Sonny. I, I, I mean, Santino. It's a privilege to meet you. Do you have any advice for an up-and-coming enforcer? You know, trucks are a good place to start. I started by robbing trucks. I remember telling Pop uh, I wanted to enter the family business that I could, you know, learn to sell olive oil. He tells me, yeah. Every man has one destiny. Well, today, today my destiny is all about wanting what the hell's inside of them trucks and what it does for me, you know what I mean? All right, so that was a waste of my motherfucking time, sir. You didn't tell me shit. Hold on, though. You got the booty shorts on? Hold up. That ass! How you doing? You then you can you got a bucket hat on. You know what I'm saying you shit. What y'all what y'all doing up here? The Don's still in bad shape. Why don't you go over to the hospital in Little Italy and keep an eye on things? You think there's gonna be trouble? The police got the building under wraps, but they're not our guys, and I don't trust them. So now I got to run back and Why do I keep losing vendetta points? Matter of fact, let's talk to this dude. You look like you want to talk to me? I know a secret about those delivery trucks. Could earn you a lot of dough. Interested? I'm interested. What are you thinking? Them trucks ain't all legit. Some are smuggling goods for the mob. Stop them with a the little firepower, then interrogate the driver. You'll find out where they're coming from. I can remember that. All right, let's talk to you too. The Cuneos are honorable, but if you cross them once, they'll hunt you down. Rival families. Okay, New York City is divided, but divided up amongst five families. Okay, hold on. There are five families out there, kid, each controlling their own neighborhood. First, there's the Tatalias from Brooklyn. Bruno Tatalia is next in line to be done and is working with that Turk asshole, Salazzo. The Dahlias are tough, but nothing you can't handle. As for Brooklyn, the Heights is pretty rich, but watch out near the waterfront. If I had a dime for every cheap hotel, brothel, or sleazy clip joint, I'd be a very wealthy man. Look into the face of Estrachi and you'll see one thing, trouble. You don't want to run into them on a dark night in a New Jersey stronghold. At first, the place looks pretty quiet. All little shops and fancy parks. But watch out. Better bring a crew with you before paying the Strachis a visit. Hell's Kitchen is one of the city's toughest neighborhoods, controlled by the Cuneos. They ain't rich. A few gambling clubs and brothels, plus some weapons. Hell's Kitchen is a sewer, full of burned-down tenements and empty warehouses. 
The rail yards are a rat's nest of scumbags and late night wheeling and dealing. Midtown is the heart of New York. You got all those famous landmarks that you've seen in pictures. Plus the biggest hotels, swankiest nightclubs, and the most valuable rackets in town. One family controls Midtown, the Barcini. They're tough sons of bitches. Don Emilio Barcini is in charge and rules with an iron fist. And finally there's us, the Corleones. Little Italy used to be our turf, but the rival families kept moving in and hitting our businesses. We gotta stop them, kid. Take the families out one by one. But when you look up at that big sign, Jenko Olive Oil, you know, on Mott Street, that's when you know you're home. That was, that was, that was, I like that. Um, oh, let's talk to him. The Strachis are brutal. If they ain't fighting some other family, they'll fight each other. All right, um, I think we're going to stop here. Got to get ready to do the next game we're starting. Damn! Never trust the Strachi. They're like animals, believe me. Talk to this dude, too. I hear the Barzinis are good allies, as long as you don't cross them. All right, that better be it. I better not see nobody else with that damn sign. Motherfuckers! Salazzo might make another attempt on the Don's life. He needs protection. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Oh, you got Tic Tacs. You know your breasts smell like ass.